Hello everyone, today we'll show you how to copy files to box.com. First we create a job, right click and say create a new job, we skip the wizard, give the job a name, source type which is where we want to copy from, in this case we're copying from a local disk, if you want to copy from a remote location such as cloud storage, you would select, select it here, in this case we're choosing local disk. We're going to browse to it. We're going to copy share one. It's a small folder just for testing purposes. Copy files instantly. Destination. Now in destination, we select, click on the drop down, we select the box as our cloud provider. And then in here, we would want to select the account if we have one. But in this case, we're going to add a new account. Give the account an alias. box alias just for testing. Now you want to click on authenticate. It'll open up a web browser and it prompts us to log into box.com. So you click on the we just type in our credentials. In this case we're using these credentials. They're pretty safe but it's asking us to grant us access. Click yes. Now we can close the browser. Now authentication token has been provided. We can click on test to make sure that connectivity is established. Click save. Now we can click on browse. We select, this is our cloud storage. There's nothing there right now. We click on check box where we want to copy the files to. Click OK. Click save. Now we've created the job. To trigger the job or to start it, we right click on it and select start. The job is now queued. We can click on here to look at the progress of the job. It's connecting. Right now it's copying files. We have four threads selected by default. And this is a small job. This is just 16 files and it's copied already 10 files. It shows a progress of 55%, 58%. And it's successful. When it's green, that means it did not encounter any errors and all files have been copied successfully. If you wanted to copy files from box.com, pretty simple. Just double click on the job to edit it. Instead of selecting the local source, you click on the drop down, select box, selected credentials. You could add credentials, but since we used credentials earlier, it's saved. We can select box alias and we click browse can actually see the folder that we just copied and that's how you can copy files from box.com and as far as destination we just select the destination you want to copy to and save it and you run the job and that will copy from box.com hopefully this was informative to you and thank you for viewing